Hi, dear friends of Ortolino. My name is Dieter von Schurer and I'm the manager and owner of the Ortolino company. Today I want to introduce one of the greatest masters of Japanese woodblock printmaking of the 20th century. His name is Hiroshi Yoshida and he lived from 1876 until 1950. Hiroshi Yoshida started actually as a painter, as a painter in Western style, and he was pretty successful as such. It was in 1920, by then he was uh, 34 years old, when he made his first woodblock print. Hiroshi Yoshida made the first seven prints together with the, with the publisher Watanabe Shotsaburo. And in 1925, after coming back from a trip to the United States of America, he established his own company. He hired uh, woodblock carvers and printers, and the Yoshida Studios exist still up to our days. Well, uh, we have prepared a few of his prints. Hiroshi Yoshida is specialized in landscape prints. And the style in which he works uh, is called Shin Hanga. Shin Hanga is actually an art movement, a renewal of the old art of Japanese woodblock printmaking of the 19th century. It was kind of modernized, and Hiroshi Yoshida has an enormous merit in renewing well this old art. Hiroshi Yoshida had studied the French Impressionists and what he introduced in his prints are features that they used, uh, mainly showing the effects of light and, and shadow and the effect on colors uh, by different times of the day. Uh, you may know the paintings by Monet uh, that show the same subject, the same design, but at different times of the day. Hiroshi Yoshida made the same. There are quite a few of his designs uh, where you have a night and a day version or versions at different times of the day. Well, for instance, the Acropolis in, in Athens or the Sphinx in Egypt or uh, there is a design showing a sailboat in the morning and in, in the evening. Hiroshi Yoshida in contrast to many of his Shinango artists, uh, did not only make the designs, but he was capable of doing the carving and the printing himself. And he had the ambition to be at least as good as his skilled workers. And in order to carve a woodblock print in perfection, as these prints are made, you need the experience and the apprenticeship of many, many years. Uh, Hiroshi Yoshida was a genius and the best of his prints have uh, what is known to collectors the so-called Yitsuri seal. You see that up here these two Japanese characters and this means that Hiroshi Yoshida either made them completely himself or he closely supervised them. Uh, he was very strict about quality. Hiroshi Yoshida was a real cosmopolitan. He traveled a lot. He was several times in the United States of America. He had seen Europe, Switzerland, Italy, Greece, well then um, a short stay in Egypt, Korea, China, even Africa. Towards the end of his life, well, he had an idea. He wanted to make a series, 100 Views of the World. However, he could not even start that. Uh, he passed away in 1950. To conclude with, I want to present a book. It's the catalogue raisonné, a complete catalogue of the complete woodblock prints by Hiroshi Yoshida. It has a few uh, informative articles at the beginning in uh, Japanese and in English. 
but the main section okay, shows his works with illustrations and at the end you have a, a timetable about his life well the book is quite recommendable and to my knowledge it's the only book exclusively devoted to Hiroshi Yoshida okay then uh, for today I thank you for watching and have a good week